So I just got back from the grocery store and I thought I would show you some of the things that I picked up today. A lot of these things are staple items in my diet and I get a lot of questions about what I eat. So um, if you didn't know, I eat sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free and low carb. So I thought I would show you just some of the things that I picked up and hopefully it'll give you some ideas for meals for yourself or just maybe an ingredient that you didn't think of. Um, I know that happens a lot with me if I see like something that someone else ate, it's like, oh, I totally forgot that that even existed and I could make this and this and this. So anyway, I thought I would show you what I got today. So um, first, let's start with the good stuff, the greens. So I got a big bag of broccoli and I love getting the broccoli from Costco in these big bags because I don't have to pay for the big stem, like the weight of the stem. So I like to get them pre-cut in the bags at Costco and I always get organic broccoli. And then I also always get my avocados from Costco. Unless I find them a really good deal at the grocery store, they're usually always the best price at Costco and they're always like perfect avocados when you open them up and like who doesn't want that? So um, I eat a lot of avocados. So that's what I get from, or sorry, I get that from Costco. And then also I picked up some cocoa powder, some organic cocoa powder from Costco. A lot of times I'll use cacao powder and like my um, raw, uh, recipe so like if I'm making like a chocolate dairy-free milkshake or um, anything like that like if I'm making chia pudding I'll use cacao powder for baking lately I've been using cocoa powder just because it has a really good flavor but sometimes I'll use cacao powder too it just kind of depends but if they would have had cacao powder at Costco I probably would have got it but they have this one right now so anyway so I got that from Costco and then I also got a big bag of lemons. I put lemon um, in my water every morning and I also love to make stevia lemonade and um, I'll put it in my green juices. So I use a lot of lemons and I use it in like baking and like salad dressings and stuff too. So um, I usually get a big bag of it because I always go through them. And then also from Costco, I get um, these grass fed, grass finished um, beef sausages and these are so good. They're really really good um, like in omelets. They're good in spaghetti squash or like zucchini noodle pasta. They're good on top of um, pizza. Like I'll make like a low carb um, almond flour crust and then with like sugar-free marinara and dairy-free cheese and this and it is so good. So I definitely recommend picking some of these up because and they're just good plain too. Like they're good in everything. So I really like these and I like that they're grass-fed and grass-finished. You got to make sure you look for that because a lot of times um, they try to trick you and it's not always totally grass-fed. They'll like fatten them up at the end with grains. So look for grass finish because that's really important. And then um, also my Costco just started selling pastured eggs. So, um, if you didn't know, I only really eat pastured eggs. I mean, if I can't find them anywhere, which is really rare, then maybe I'll get like free range eggs, but, um, I always try to get pastured eggs. A lot of times I get, I really like Vital Farms eggs, but, um, I'm doing a lot of baking this week. So I thought I would get a big fat pack of eggs and I think, oh, I also got peanut butter from Costco because they're two packs of peanut butter and it's organic peanut butter for 10 bucks. And so it's a really good deal. I try not to keep too much peanut butter in the house because I will eat it all. And I'll just like, if I know it's there, I just will get a spoon and I'll go eat it. And so um, I just justified it this time because I got it for baking and I didn't wanna like run out. So anyway, hopefully I can contain myself because I really like peanut butter. I really like almond butter too, but like peanut butter is my weakness. It's just, I love peanut butter. Anyway, um, so I also got some bone broth and I've never tried this brand before, but it was new at Costco and it was in the cold section. So I figured it'd be a good one. And all the flavors, like it just has like so many different flavors in the back. It has like coconut vinegar and turmeric and garlic and mushrooms and just like, and carrots, onions. It just has like a bunch of stuff in it. That sounds really, really yummy. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. And I love bone broth, especially when I'm doing intermittent fasting. Um, I let myself uh, have bone broth like during my fasting period just because it helps um just satisfy me and it feels really good like in the evening like I'll just like sip some bone broth or sip some tea but sometimes I'll sip bone broth so I got that for this and then also I get my almond flour from Costco so I got two bags of almond flour and these are like 12 bucks each which a lot of times at like Whole Foods it'll be like 10 to 15 bucks for a bag of almond flour that's like half this size and I go through a lot of almond flour and that's really expensive. So um, I like to get it from Costco because it's like double the size and it's only 12 bucks. So definitely look um, at your Costco to see if they have almond flour because it's a really good option. 
And then, so I went to Whole Foods and then I got, um, I got my Lily's chocolate chips because these are sugar-free and dairy-free and they're delicious. I love them. My husband's like obsessed with them. He thinks they're so good. And so, yeah, we really, really like these. I got two bags of them because they're going to be gone in no time because they're so good. Then also the Lily's chocolate bars are really, really good. They're sugar-free. And just a tip though, if you're dairy-free, some of them aren't dairy-free. So the ones that are 55% cocoa, those ones are not dairy-free. They have milk fat in them. And so if you're dairy-free, then just keep that in mind. But I always get the 70% um, dark chocolate ones. They have a sea salt flavor and a sea salt almond flavor. And the sea salt almond is my favorite. It's so good. So if you see like the 70% sea salt almond then definitely try that one because it's really good but this was the only one on sale and they didn't have my favorite flavor so i got this one today and then also okay so i don't usually eat candy because i try to stick to foods that are like nourishing to my body and actually give me nutritional benefit but sometimes i want a little treat especially like if i'm going to the movies or something it's just like fun and i never eat candy and so I saw these when I was in Canada a couple days ago and it said three grams of sugar per bag is all, which is natural sugar. And so I looked on the back and it's sweetened with stevia and even like the, um, like it doesn't use food coloring or anything bad. It uses like spirulina, uh, spirulina powder to do the greens, um, to make like the green gummy bears. And they use like, um, like vegetable juice and stuff for color. Anyway, they, um, are mostly all fiber, so they're not really going to spike your blood sugar. Um, so they're still technically pretty low carb because the whole bag is like six or seven grams of carbs is all. So these are awesome and I don't eat them. Like I'm not going to eat them all the time, but they're definitely a fun treat. So I grabbed a couple of these for the next time that me and Dane go to the movies. And also what else did I get from Whole Foods? Um, oh, and I got some coconut cream. I usually get um, Thai kitchen coconut cream, but this one was on sale today, so I'm gonna give it a try. Um, I like this brand, um, they're shredded coconuts. Uh, it's Let's Do Organic is what it, the brand is, and so I figured their coconut cream should be good. It says organic heavy coconut cream, so um, these were on sale, so I picked up a bunch of those. And then I think that's all I got from Whole Foods. And then I went to Natural Grocers also. I wasn't planning on going to Whole Foods, but I passed it. So I thought I would go in and see what they had. And then, so I went to Natural Grocers and I got this little baby spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash. And this is the only one they had left. And it was, you can't really tell, but it's like really tiny. Like normally spaghetti squashes are pretty big, but this one's a little baby. But I figured, well, maybe one night the Dane's working late, I'll just eat this all myself. And so, okay, so I got that. And then um, I picked up some stevia, some um, organic stevia powder, which I use to make like my lemonade. I use it in a lot of my baking and stuff. And then also I grabbed some walnuts for um, on top of desserts. And also for, um, I like putting it like on my chia pudding and sometimes I just like to eat it. So I got that. And then I got some romaine lettuce because I'm making um, taco salad. And what's nice about natural grocers, grocers or grocer, I don't know if it's grocers or grocers. Anyway, but um, I like it because all of their produce is organic there. So I can't even be like tempted to buy the non-organic because it's cheaper because everything's organic. So I love that part about it. And I pretty much, I got some grass-fed um, ground beef that's in there, but it's not too cute to look at. So I think that's pretty much every, oh, I also got this cacao butter because um, I can't find any sugar-free white chocolate and I really like white chocolate macadamia nut like cookies and stuff. So I'm gonna try to use this to make um, homemade white chocolate. So I'll let you know how that goes and I'll post a recipe if it's any good. But just so you know, this isn't sweet, so you have to sweeten it on your own, but it's just like cacao butter. I don't know if you can see, but like, it's just like big chunks of butter, of the cacao butter, and it smells just like chocolate. It smells so good. Okay, so now that I've sniffed that, I'm going to go try that recipe right now because that sounds really fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video um, of some of the foods that I buy. Um, this isn't all stuff I buy on a regular basis, but a lot of it is, and uh, maybe I'll do another video with like 
what I actually buy for like my meal planning because this was more like baking stuff and some of it was just like quick meal stuff. But anyway, if you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be coming out with tons and tons of videos and um, sharing a lot about my journey and what I eat and everything like that. So um, make sure to subscribe and um, also follow me on Instagram because I post um, like daily what I eat um, on my story and then like also just like healthy things I'm doing and recipes and all that fun stuff. So uh, definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link to that below and I'll see you later.